Hello, today I'm going to be talking about the life cycle of stars. So let's just cover some of the basics. What you see here are um, images of nebula, so big clouds of dust and gas. And this is where you're going to find stars starting to form, especially in concentrated regions. And that's what this is. This, this is a blown up area right here. And you'll see in these regions, it's very dense, and that gas starts to come together to form a star. So star formation starts in clouds of gas and dust called nebula. The stars form in the most dense and concentrated parts of the cloud, right there. Um, here it's showing nuclear fusion, because that's what we're gonna get, that's what's actually gonna start a star. It's not a star until it has started fusion in its core. So as gravity pulls the dust and gas together, a large hot ball of gas forms. Once it gets hot enough, nuclear fusion occurs, creating a star. All right, so this is a diagram commonly used in astronomy. It's called an HR diagram. And it shows the different types of stars, different temperatures, different sizes, and luminosities. Um, most of the stars are along this main sequence right through here. Okay, that's the main sequence. Because of their size, most stars are found within the main sequence of stars. Depending on their temperature, they will stay in this phase for millions to billions of years. And then down here, you're gonna see some size comparisons. So we've got our sun, we've got one of the smaller red giants, and then we've got some of the larger red giants. And we're gonna find out that the sun is gonna go through a couple of stages here. So a star like our sun will eventually start to expand as it uses up its fuel source. So as it uses up its fuel source towards the end of life, it gets bigger and bigger like this. The expansion will create a red giant possibly reaching past Earth's orbit. All right. And what you're gonna see here, I'm gonna talk about, this is as it got, as our sun got to the size of a red giant, like later in its life, or a star like our sun, you'll see this very small white dot here in the middle, and then this cloud around it. Once, that, once the star has used up its fuel, the outer layers of the red giant will start to float away. This forms a planetary nebula of gas. That's what this is, the planetary nebula. It's all just gas and stuff. Now we'll talk about what this is down here. The inner layers of the red giant will collapse into a very dense star called a white dwarf. So that huge, that big red giant that we talked about here, much bigger than our sun, as the sun expands, eventually the inside collapses down on itself into a white dwarf. Very, very dense. The white dwarf from our sun will be about the size of Earth. Now, we'll talk some more about what happens when a really big star uh, goes through the end of its life. It's gonna be different than a white dwarf, a little bit more dramatic. So we'll talk about that another time. All right, hope this helps, thanks.